Hello everybody, welcome back to Crash Wrath of Cortex. In the last episode, we went into episode level 23, Medieval Mayhem, and we got all three of the gems to be found there, including the Platinum Time Trial. Man, that was hard. As you can see here, I'm down to 76 lives after being up to 99 at the beginning of the episode, so you should watch that one, it's kind of fun. And in this episode, we're going to go into level 24, Crate Balls of Fire, and we're just going to get the, par the Purple Crystal and the Silver Gem for now. So it will be kind of a short episode, but at the same time it's kind of a long episode because it's such a long level, so maybe right in the middle? I don't know. <laughs> um, I will admit the first time I played this level I was like, what? Because you're running straight towards the camera and it makes it very hard to see where you're going a little bit. But, uh, you should actually be kind of good on this level. Uh, it looks a little bit daunting at first, but once you get used to the rhythm of the new challenges that you're facing, such as the rotating platforms, which you'll see here in just a second, you're gonna be fine. Oh, did I... What? Uh, <laughs> I went through the vent. So, these guys are a little bit tricky, uh, but this is the hardest part to do them with, so that's kind of helpful. You can see that there's a vent right here. You have to use it to drop down onto the platform. And then you double jump and get that crate if you're going for the silver gem. And then you make sure you land on this vent. I actually landed on it the first time, but I fell. But I landed on the rotating platform, so I was good. I'm going to wait one more time here just to make sure I don't fall. Uh, I fall here, and then I spin, and I jump, and I jump, and then I jump right here. And you should be good. If you get that check, Once you get that checkpoint, it's relatively... Uh, easy from here on from there on out uh, you should have seven out of 110 crates like that see when you get to that checkpoint uh, now you start blowing up all of these crates you try to avoid the nitro crates because they mean sadness and unfortunates and stuff like that unfortunates I'm not sure if it's even a word but if it is a word I invented it you should get used to it uh, I invent a lot of words on this don't I <laughs> like uh that Flagstaff, that's not a word. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a word. Um, wow, I thought that was going to hurt me. Uh, okay, so what I do here is you think that you might have to go back for those crates back there, but I actually don't do that. Uh, I stay over here, I jump, I hit that exclamation point, and then I come back and it'll reveal that life crate. And on my practice run, I did that exact same thing where I was being super careful, but I landed on one of the crates and went flying into the nitro crates. So, by the end of that, you should have about 30 crates. If you didn't blow up all those nitro crates, you should have maybe about 20, because there are a bloody lot of them. Um, but, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, from here on out, whenever we get to the checkpoint, you can subtract 10 from my crate total, because uh, I blew up 10 in that bonus. If, if you do it flawlessly, then you should be on the right track. Uh, but doop -a doo so we're making our way through, it's pretty straightforward for a while here, kind of a 2D side-scroller, side typical stuff. Uh, I can jump over that guy, but I want to be careful because I want to do this in one run without dying. Have I already died? No, I haven't died. No, I've been a good boy. Alright, so this is kind of similar to Tsunami, where uh, you're being chased by an entity of unknown origin. And uh, it will blow up the crates for you, so you don't have to worry about breaking them for the silver gem. You can just run right past them. Just make sure that you outrun the thing and be careful that you don't fall down a hole or run into an enemy. Especially if you do not have a tiki, because that would be annoying now, wouldn't it? Uh, it's right about here where it comes out. There we go. And it, can, it will blow up all your crates for you, although it would be good to grab any tikis and lives where you see them. Because, uh... Uh, oh, nuts. I missed that bit. <laughs> there were invisible crates there, and I hot, and I forgot to hit the exclamation crate block that goes with them. It was off to the side, and I didn't see it, I guess. But uh, grab tikis, grab lives, wherever you can get them. If the storm destroys them, they will not count towards your total. There you go. Just all you have to do is bump into it. You don't have to jump on it or anything, and then you can get those four crates there. That will lead towards your silver gem. You can get that checkpoint. Okay, that's a little bit risky. Risky business. Risky business. There we go. Uh, making our way downtown. Walking fast. Getting chased by a yellow hailstorm. Just typical life in... Aww. 
typical day in the video gamer's life, just running away from a yellow storm of sadness with Neocortex branded all over it. It's the color of Neocortex, isn't it? It's yellow. I wonder if it's his, like, horrifying creation that he made out of his own skin or something like that. That would be terrifying, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that visual made me sad inside. Let's just forget that one and go to therapy. Um, yeah, that's the end of the storm right there, so now we can just keep making our way... I keep saying that. And I miss you. Um, <laughs> uh, just let these guys blow up if you want to. You can walk right into them, make sure they expand, and then get back so that they don't hurt. Ooh! Uh. What was that? So yeah, I thought that was the purple crystal the first time I saw it, but it was a rotating platform, and it made me sad inside. But there's your purple crystal, so that makes me happy inside. Yes, we're actually quite near the end right now. It doesn't look like it, but we really are. Uh, this is kind of tricky part, but not too hard. Just make sure that while you're in mid-jump, you can get that crate. Or you can shoot it down if you want to be more careful about it. Uh, but who said I was careful? Yeah, that's what I get for not being careful. Fuck! Now I'm just being a dope. There we go, and now we get to our nitro crate right there, and that should blow up all the nitro crates in the area that we missed, and that will get us our silver gem of happiness, and then we go into the portal, and that's the end of the episode. Yes. Maybe eight minutes? That's pretty good. That's pretty good time for such a long level. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of Crash Wrath of Cortex. In the next episode, we are going to make our way into level 25, and we are going to get three of the four gems there, not including the time trial gem. I just went and do it for some reason. Crash, you've been a naughty boy. But now that's going to end. He's a poop. I just went and do it for some reason. We're going to get three ge three of the four gems in this level, Cortex Vortex, and we're not going to get the time trial. We're going to save that for later. And I hope you'll join me for that, in case you're having trouble with it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.